Hello there. I believe you are blessed wherever you are. I would love to say be blessed all over the world. Be blessed uh, regardless of the color of the skin. Remember God is good. Our God is gracious, full of compassion. He takes time to be angry. I'm saying continue praying. Remember we are still facing this uh, 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 challenge of this demon of Corona. I'm saying be blessed, especially in Africa, as Africans. We pray to God to intervene because we have seen the finger of God uh, uh, for all these uh, one year and some months. God has been protecting us. So we pray, we pray again. Let us not forget to pray. Regardless of the color of the skin, we pray for Asian countries, European countries, and American region. Right, I will go to the, to the, to the point. I, I, I would love to uh, uh, say this uh, to the Zambian uh, people. Uh, what I saw in a vision in the morning. Uh, to the, I want to talk to the uh, coming uh, 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 the president-elect. I don't know his name or, or what uh, his name. I want to say this. Uh, uh, God allowed me to see him closer in a vision. But there are three things that God is saying about him. There are three things that he is supposed to get them right. It will make his leadership uh, uh, to be fine. It will make his leadership uh, 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 to be respected. It will represent who really he is. Uh, because remember, God knows us better. No matter us, God's people, we don't know a, a people, but God knows everyone. Better. So God allowed, he brought him closer to me in a vision. So God is saying three things. First, what I saw in the vision, I saw women younger and older carrying babies. They were making a circle. Zambian women, younger and older, they were carrying babies, making a circle. So when they were making circle, they were rounding, rounding, rounding. Then God is saying to me, this circle that you are seeing, uh, it, it means it means a kingdom meaning a kingdom that is united he said it means a kingdom that is united then what then God he said this man the first thing that is supposed to do he must make sure that he unite all Zambians because there is a lot that uh, uh, this uh, 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 governments that was there uh, have done in people uh, uh, people's lives. People they are not united. God is saying Zambians they are not united and they hate one another. So for him, for his presidency to be fine is for him to enter, enter and start uniting these people under one umbrella. One that's what God is saying to me. The second again, God is saying to me, you must make sure that he put people whom he knows closer to him meaning that every people that uh, who are, uh, that, that those people are supposed to be closer to him must be people whom he knows very well why because god said to me uh, for him to be safe one second for him not to have betrayers i don't know how they formed their party I don't wanna, uh, uh, no, I don't know how they formed their party. I don't know their party. Is it a joint party or whatever? Or maybe parties they joined together. But God is same. Uh, for him not to uh, have a lot of hiccups, uh, have a lot of setbacks on his government. For him not to have a lot of uh, 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 pulling back. He needs to bring people whom he knows very well. So I don't know, um, I don't know, maybe they know them Zambians, how their party was formed for him to be elected there. Is it party that was joined with other parties or whatever? I don't know. But God is saying, he makes sure that he selects um, a, a lot of uh, uh, people whom he knows to surround himself with. Why? It will be good for him and good for his uh, goals as, as a president to reach his goal. Right. Three, God is saying to me, Three, he makes sure that he focus on the economy. When he focus on the economy, he makes sure that all things that he said he will do, 
he, 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 he pushes and move forward to do those things. But he said to me, Zambians will be, the Zambia economy will be better on, on his hands. He will change the economy of Zambia to be something very great. God is saying the economy of Zambia through him, it, it, it shall change and become a, a, a good economy. Zambia shall be a greater again under him. But there are things that is not supposed uh, to overlook. God is saying you make sure that the errors that the country uh, is having, maybe the country is owing, maybe they are owing whatever, you make sure that he correct those mistakes for his president to be fine. But I'm saying to the Zambians, in a financial, you are going to be stable. Your country is in good hands. If he's going to listen and do these three things that God is saying. First is to unite people, as I saw in a vision, that Zambians are divided. Second, he makes sure that he brings loyal people closer to him for his goals and for his presidency to be fine. Third, the economy again, the economy is in good hands, he shall make Zambia to be great again. He mustn't change his plans. Remember presidents, they promise people when they, before they enter in power, when they enter in power, they forget how uh, 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 they suffered to be there. They forget uh, how they struggled uh, to reach there. So I'm saying to you, you will pray, you pray as Zambian people, you pray for him. You put him in prayers. That's the most important thing in these three things. God is it. They must put him in prayers. You put him in prayers so that he may achieve what God he wants to achieve and make Zambia a, 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 a greater a nation again. I'm saying wherever you are, if you see my video again, you share. You pray. If you are a Zambian, you pray for your country. You are in good hands, in economy, things, they shall change. Be, be blessed wherever you are. You don't pray for economy because you need a leader. Pray for him as you will take over the country so that God can use him to fulfill everything that God wants to be fulfilled in your country. First priority, you must unite Zambians. God is here, they are scattered. As I saw those women dancing, younger and older with kids rounding, God is here. It, it represents kingdom, but the kingdom of Zambia is divided. People, they are divided too much. They need someone to unite. He must unite them under his umbrella. Second, make sure you put a closer people to him. The third one, you make sure that the economy is in good hands. Yes, it's in good hands, but he makes sure that he doesn't change whatever he said he will do. May God bless you. Remember, God loves you. So do I. May God bless you. Thank you.